Alright, David. Uh, let's see. So, open up BBS config. Um, go to the menu editor. Pick the default or whichever one you're using. Uh, let's see. Matrix. Here we got the matrix. Um, basically, what you do is uh, d display text. You can put whatever you want. It doesn't actually show anything. Um, light bar low. This is what it's going to show when there is no um, light bar on the option. And as you can see, um, it's got uh, a pipe code of 05, login, and then you'll notice the cursor kind of under the um, hash mark where it says command 1 up above. You'll notice that there's a space going all the way over there. And the reason for that is because if you go down to light bar high, you'll see that it's now showing the, um, the same space right there because you need to have consistency with the light bar itself otherwise it looks all funky and everything so I usually um, when I make a light bar I usually go to the longest one so that it's all consistent um, you'll notice also on this one for the light bar high um, my background is um, 13. Um, well, let me just explain it this way. So pipe 17 is going to be the bar color. That's the blue. Uh, pipe 13 is going to be the text color, which is the login. And then the pipe 16 is basically black foreground, um, I believe. So it keeps um, uh, it keeps text from like bleeding over into the next um, area uh, throughout the screen. Um, if you look down here, we're still on the first one here. Um, this is the X and Y axis. So for the X, I have 61, and for the Y, I have 19. And you just pretty much like play around with that until you find where um, you want it to be positioned. And then I have, you'll notice I have where it says up and down right here. Um, up would be four which means that if they were on the first menu option and they hit the up key, it wouldn't like not do anything. It would actually move to the fourth menu option, which is the last one. Uh, this being like the first one, one, two, three, four. So uh, pressing up on the first menu option will bring you to the bottom one. Pressing down um, on the first menu option will bring you to menu option number two. And then over here in the matrix login, it's just matrix login command. And then you've got um, create account. Uh, same thing, display text, doesn't matter. Light bar low, um, pipe 05, create account, light bar high, pipe 17, pipe 13, create account, pipe 16. So, like I said, the first one is going to be the foreground bar color, uh, second one's going to be the text color, and the uh, last one is going to basically set it back to black or whatever you have for a background that you don't want to bleed over to the rest of the text uh, underneath this. Um, same thing with the um, X and Y. You'll notice this one says 61 and 20. This one says 61 and 19. So we're just incrementing downwards. So 61, 19, 61, 20, 61, 21, 61, 22. Uh, on the second option, you'll also notice that it says uh, up for menu option one will bring you to the first one, down will bring you to number three, and that's pretty much it for this. Um, now we'll go to uh, the other one, um, the file and the message menu. I'll bring you to the file one though. This one's a little bit more complex. Um, it's actually not file, it's a uh, file new scan. All right, so basically what I have is in the main menu, I have it set to hit uh, file new scan as a go sub, and you'll see that in a second. So we're here at files, and you'll see it's a go sub instead of a go to, so it's command GS. And basically what that is is when somebody goes to the file new scan menu, if they want to quit back to the main menu, all they have to do is just hit, you know, quit back to main or whatever like that, and it'll do an actual go sub. Um, if you have it as a go, it basically means that, like, you have to keep, like, you know, changing menu names if you do change menu names and stuff like that. It's just easier overall. Just use go sub and go return commands. 
Um, so it'll go sub to File New Scan. And then we go to File New Scan. And like I said, this one's a little bit more of a pain in the ass. All right. So here we go. This is what it does. So again, display text. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's just for your own view and everything like that. Light bar low. Uh, same thing. Um, you actually don't have to set anything on this uh, as far as the foreground because it's just the you know um, not used uh, menu option at the time. This is like you know light bar off. And here's where it gets a little tricky. All right, so I have my menu set uh, horizontally. It's a little bit different than the vertical one on the matrix menu. Light bar high. Here we go. So you got um, pipe 19, which is the bar color, pipe 11, which is the um, text color. And you'll also notice right here um, after the C, I have uh, double zeros. And that basically um, sets the text to black so that you can see it on the um, through the, uh, the light bar um, color, which is uh, 19, which is cyan. So um, I basically set that up so that you could see that C would be a hotkey. And if you want to, instead of just using the arrow keys, you can actually use hotkeys. Um, so here you go. You got that. Which is, you know, it's fine if you want to do it, you know, whatever. Um, it's the same as the matrix menu um, if you wanted, but I also wanted to have flavor text um, description for each one that if the person picked it, it would show. So this is why I have the coordinates right here. Pipe, bracket left, X03, pipe, bracket left, Y21. And those are the coordinates of where it's going to put the flavor text, which I also have underneath the... Um, the uh, menu options when you're actually selecting them with the uh, the light bar, and then of course the text here, which is you know pipe 08 everything blah 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 scan for new files and current file base, and then I have the cursor uh, set for I believe the bottom left of the screen just to kind of take it out of the way, and that's what this is right here. This positions the cursor that you see that I'm moving back and forth just kind of out of the way so it doesn't distract from the text or anything. And then the same thing right here, the X and the Y, 13 and 9, or 13 and 19, and then the uh, left and right instead of up and down since I have these um, horizontally. So left would bring you to the last menu option, right would take you to the next one. And then I have the commands over here, file new scan, and then go to uh, new menu. Um, if you want to see that in action, which I know you have, say, now the thing is, is for the um, the description, the flavor text underneath, um, the thing I was talking about before with the matrix menu, is you want to have enough space on the light bar high. You'll notice that there's like a bunch of space between the last word and this. And like I said, you want to have enough space um, for the longest description that you have and you want to make all the rest of them at least space past that just past it um, because otherwise what will happen is the text from the longest one will bleed into the next one it will carry over um, it won't get overwritten so you want to be able to do that uh, this one is I think the longest one which is why the uh, X01 and Y24 are right at the end um, and then that's pretty much it and then you would just need your um, commands down at the bottom like this would scan the current group this would scan all of them um, this one skips uh, to the message menu without having or the file menu I'm sorry since we're on the file one it will skip to the file one um, without uh, doing any scans and then this one aborts and sets you back to the uh, main menu and that's pretty much it um, if you have any questions at all, just let me know, and um, I'll see if I can help you out with them.